If the sun disappeared, we would still be receiving light for another 8 minutes, which is the time light takes to make the journey between the sun and earth. But what about gravity? Would it be turned off instantly the moment the sun's mass is gone? When Isaac Newton spoke of gravity, he described it as being caused by massive objects attracting other objects. The more refined theory of relativity by Albert Einstein revisits this principle. As a good analogy, you can think of gravity as the effect of massive objects causing a well in the fabric of space-time, this well will naturally attract any object in the vicinity. The more massive the object, the stronger the gravity is. Black holes are said to possess an extremely strong pull to the point where light cannot escape. The speed required to exit a black hole is faster than the speed of light. So does this make gravity faster? Well, gravity was never directly measured in a lab, so we've relied on astronomical observations observations. Answering what is the speed of gravity depends on which theory you're using. Newton's theory says it's instant, because if gravity had a delay like light, orbits would become unstable. But we don't observe that. In Einstein's relativity, gravity moves at light speed, but there is no observable delay in stable orbits, because the mathematics of the field equations accounts for this. If gravity pointed to an object's past position without compensation, orbits bits would decay. In both electromagnetism and relativity, the field equations ensure stability for steady motion. But since the speed of gravity was not measured, could Einstein be wrong? Well, I might have left out something about that. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by accelerating massive objects. They're extremely weak and only detectable from violent cosmic events. They stretch space in one direction while squeezing it in another. The hypothetical particle carrying gravity's forces a graviton, but this remains undetected and is part of ongoing theoretical work to unify gravity and quantum mechanics. In 2017, gravitational waves were detected from a neutron star merger approximately 130 million light years away. Various forms of electromagnetic radiation, such as gamma rays, x-rays, and optical wavelengths, were also observed coming from the same source at essentially the same time. Since since the source is so far away, this observation confirmed gravity and light travel at the same velocity, even though gravity is more like a curvature in the fabric of space-time. The deeper this curvature, the harder it is to escape. Black holes trapping light doesn't mean gravity is faster. It means the space-time curvature is so extreme that all paths now lead inward rather than outward. As for the speed of light, it is better thought of as the speed of causality, or cause and effect fact, gravity, light, electromagnetism, strong and weak nuclear forces, and virtually any other form of energy or information moves at the speed of light. The only exceptions are things that have mass, which must move slower than light. According to general relativity, if the sun were to disappear, we would continue our elliptical orbit for an additional 8 minutes and 20 seconds, the same time it would take us to stop seeing the light. What I find fascinating is that the other planets would continue to orbit the now missing sun for hours after Earth begins moving out of the solar system. We could look up into our now black sky and watch Jupiter reflect light from a star that isn't there. It wouldn't be until the gravitational change reaches those planets that they also fly off into space, wandering into the unknown.